Good afternoon, Colorado. Welcome to a Thursday edition of What's for Lunch. I'm your host, Larry Herz. And today, in studio, all the way from Thornton, Colorado, I have Fausto and Rocky from Rosa Mexican Kitchen. Woo! Thank you, thank you, thank you. Rosa, Rosa. Mr. Rosa. What's uh, going on over there, Rocky? Uh, this is, uh, I just created this character. Called, uh, his name is Mr. Rosa. So, <laughs> it's basically the one is behind the bar and uh, you know that good vibe and you know we got some fun with the customers and uh, bring the energy to the customers yeah. and to the public like do it something different uh, you know like the luchador uh, is something iconic from Mexico so everybody knows yeah. the luchadores yeah. from Mexico right yeah. so I'm originally from Mexico City so luchadores is like the right thing and you know the the things in Mexico is happening before we get into your restaurant I need a drink and we got enough for all of us uh, let's talk about this, this margarita flight. Who's going to tell me about this? All right. So we got um, in front of us. We got a margarita flight. We What's that one? No, the first one is uh, this is a margarita flight. Okay. And I I I create the hibiscus infused hibiscus. Okay. Mango infused in the, in the middle and the tamarindo infused in the other side. And that one is one of my creations. It's a uh, charcoal infused margarita. Amazing. So. Oh, nice. Really? I'm gonna say I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna say probably it's one of the first ones in the entire state. Salud. You're not gonna let me right. drink alone, right? Yeah, all right. Nice Good in, guys. Right. Good to meet you. Salud. Salud. Dude, it's good. It's good. What do you think? I, mean, I chose the right one. This is, I never That's heard right. of such a thing. No, it's a. Uh, I try to <sighs> mix, you know, the charcoal with the coconut liqueur and lemon mm. juice, and a lot of people love it. It's yeah. something different. The color. Uh, people That's our like, best seller right now. People like best different seller. things. It's amazing. Yeah. All right, give me a little history of you and your restaurant. Well, actually, we're, um, as I remember, I, I really, my passion is getting into the kitchen. So um, I remember when I was in Mexico, um, I just started getting into my, my grandma. So I'm from Culiacan, Sinaloa, right in the Pacific. As you see, uh, you know, seafood is a huge thing. Uh, back to the history, um, yeah, my grandma was so into the kitchen. Um, I was remember she makes like homemade tortillas, you know, mm. you know, do all the nixtamal, you know, uh, mix it all from scratch. And I, I'm always following, you know, what she she does in the kitchen. Okay. You know, when I, when did you open the restaurant? Well, we opened a restaurant about a year ago, so we're definitely got more restaurants, you know, involved, but. This is uh, the one, um, you know, um, you know, the, the most recently. And, and where exactly is it located? The located is in Thornton. Um, location this is right up uh, 144th Avenue and Lincoln Street. Um, you guys are always welcome to come in. So, okay. what? Uh, how would you describe your cuisine? Is it from a certain region? Uh, a region, I will say, um, it's a little bit of mix. It's a little bit of mix of. Uh, uh, from uh, Zacatecas and Sinaloa, um, it's a little bit mixed, um, um, but yeah, it's just pretty much um, our history comes with our grandmas, you know, our grandmas, they're always, you know, doing a all authentic, you know, Mexican cuisine, they're uh, either my business partners and me, uh, they're, they're both uh, infused, you know, with uh, Zacatecas and Sinaloa cuisine, and it's pretty much, uh, how we learn cooking with uh, grandmas, you know, okay. that's how. Let's talk about what you brought me for lunch today. All right. Let's start off so, with this gorgeous plate right here. All right. So um, from here we have a ceviche trio. So the first one is uh, natural. It's ceviche natural. It's the most, you know, unique and uh, basic uh, ceviche is really traditional in Culiacan, Sinaloa. And what's the fish that you're using? Fish, we use mahi-mahi. Okay. So, a uh, little bit infused, you know, with a little bit of fruit, um, you know, micro cilantro there, you know, a little bit of tomato, uh, citrus. The yeah. second one so is tuna? Uh, tuna, it's tuna ceviche, which is, they're not so traditional on Culiacan, but it's come into, you know, um, we're trying to create an infuse, you know, a little bit of with uh, tuna, you know, a little bit of fruity too, you know, some herbs. Uh, okay. radish. And the third one that's super traditional in Culiacan, Sinaloa, that one is our aguachil. 
It's mm -hmm. called aguachil. It's like raw uh, shrimp, you know, with a little bit of uh, um, raw onions, which is super traditional, and a little bit of cucumber, you know, some citrus right there, a little bit of avocado sauce. I've never so. seen anybody do a, a trio of ceviche. It's brilliant. So, Love it. Yep. Presentation is amazing. Yep. The second dish we have right there, it's, you know, as you know about chile relleno, that's the most, you can find anywhere in Mexico. So this is a super traditional uh, relleno, it's egg batter, wrap it up, you know, fill it up with cheese, which is the most traditional uh, you can find. The sauce we got is uh, based on uh, tomato sauce. We're trying to create it right there, kind of like an enchilada kind of sauce, but it, more like a tomato tomato kind of thing base. Does it have a chipotle? Uh, like it got some little kick chipotle on it. So tiny bit, just a little twist. And we got some aioli, which is our kind of signature sauce. Crema mexicana, you know, we got some um, chi uh, chips, you know, tortilla chips, like a blue corn tortilla chips, a little bit of radish corn. And then always can miss, you know, the queso fresco. Queso fresco it give you a little niche to the dish, you know. It's about the prettiest relleno I've ever seen. Well, it's good. <laughs> I think it's one of our the most sellers. So, and then the third one, it's our one of our hits, you know, dessert. You know, it's a guava cheesecake. So, yeah. people love it. You know, it's just they like it. top of the top seller. You know, uh, I I surprised how you know this guy's promoted. You know. Uh, desserts, you know, because we, I can we can get on top of desserts, you know, desserts like the less seller, you know. Yeah, house. I don't, I never eat dessert in a Mexican restaurant. And uh, we're always telling Rocky, like, come down, guys. Well, well of course, we want to sell, you know, but Wabba Cheesecake, it's, it's, you know, that people love it. They get into it as long as they try. So, number one, because you're not a typical like Mexican restaurant with a massive not. menu, you're Definitely elevated not. Mexican food, exactly. The, th the thing we're gonna create here is. Um, getting more upscale the traditional, but we keep the traditional. The traditional is always there. The mm -hmm. flavors are always there. So you're not doing the American Mexican food like the, no. Everything smothered and melted and it's not our it's not our yeah. style. Yeah. You know our style is um, you know bring some uh, tradition Mexican cuisine on a gourmet you know kind of kind of thing. You know. And then what are you doing? You have a a, a different uh, store, different concept. In Littleton, is it? In Cancarro? Littleton, uh, it's a little bit of more um, fast casual. So um, I will say it's like more Chipotle, in and out. but with Chipotle, good food. Chipotle kind of thing. But this is more. With this authentic. level of. Exactly. With the, this level of taste. So um, people, it's more like in and out. Uh, but definitely we bring some same ideas, you know, as so far as taste. Okay. Um, it, they, they play in a little bit, not, not the same as like us. But uh, it's it's still the same chain, you know, it's still the same. Do you like it, huh? Yeah. It's <laughs> good. Never in 270 episodes have I finished a drink, and I'm going to get there another you go. one. <laughs> um, that means open seven days a week? Open seven days a week. Happy uh, hour? Happy hour, two to five, Monday to Friday. And brunch? We got brunch. Um, mm, yeah, we got brunch Saturday Saturdays and Sundays. Sundays. We start at 8. Yep. And we open a restaurant at 10.30. To 10 p.m. Monday okay. to Sunday. Well, Monday to Friday, Saturday and Sunday, we got the brunch. Happy hour, like you said, uh, happy hour every day, 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. Take reservations? Only week, weekdays, not on the weekends. Okay. Weekends, Monday to yeah. Thursday. Yeah. Can they make them on your website? Yeah. Reservations? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yes, we got uh, yep. the website is eatrosa.com. You guys can make reservations on, like Monday to Thursday. Uh, you guys can find the link and yep, let you go. Now I really want to come visit. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm you like better. this. This looks like well, this looks like. I didn't know. I thought it was just like every other yeah. place, but this is not like every other place. You guys should be very proud yeah, of yourselves. Which, and then that one thing where I gotta um, say is like the, for that area. So you, you don't you don't find this kind of niche to the presentation and all Mexican kind of thing, uh, and people there really, really, really are accepting the concept. Really, really. People. They're and talking right now. They ask me all the time, where do you eat in Thornton? And I'm like, I got nothing for you. Mm -hmm. I really had no suggestions. Right. This is not, not exactly I mean, the hotbed of restaurants. Yeah. Um, well, so now, now I do. Now you have an option. So there you go. Pleasure to meet you guys. Thanks for coming in. Anything Thank else you. before we go? 
Ya, come and visit us. Say something in Spanish to them. Invite them in Spanish. Vengan a Rosa Mexican Kitchen y saluden a Mr. Rosa. Yo los voy a saludar ahí, okay? Mi casa es su casa. I know what that means. Salud. Thank you. Right. Cheers. Pleasure to meet Cheers. you guys. We'll see you at... Actually, we're not doing a show tomorrow. Sorry. Right. I'm going to the Piper Inn for lunch tomorrow. I got no show. Come join me at the Piper Inn for some wings tomorrow. Go. Let's eat. Go. Thank you. <laughs> That's a 10. <laughs>